Hello, welcome again to another episode of, I can't believe I'm going to say this, I almost said Esoteric Atlanta. <laughs> um, Bryce, if you're watching, go ahead and laugh. Um, welcome to another episode of Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. I don't know what happened there, guys. <laughs> so welcome, guys. I think I'm on there so much that I've just adopted it as my my second channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. So it is late at night, guys. It's like nine o'clock Eastern Coast. I'm recording this for you. Um, I had a couple of readings earlier that honestly took me super, super long to get through. So then I also had a meeting to go to on Zoom. And so I do apologize this reading. I'm going to try to channel it the best I can. I just recorded my earth sign reading and I was a little wonky. Um, so I can't promise you this is gonna be the most clear reading, but I at least wanna get it out so it's posting tomorrow morning. Okay, that's like really, really important that it's on time on YouTube. Um, if I stumble upon my words, um, go ahead and laugh at me. I give you full range of permission. 100%, I get goofy at night, guys. Like, you think I'm goofy during the day. You don't know anything yet. So let's just see what this hat, what comes of this, okay? So this is for my wonderful water signs. Um, Let's see what universe wants to say to water signs. Oh, go figure. Look at water. Water. Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed already, I have a new camera. Um, it's wonderful because I don't have to wear makeup when I use this camera. So, yeah, it's great. So I my face gets a little bit of a break. I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you guys the cards I'm actually getting um, so that you can see for yourself visually what I'm getting instead of just kind of staring at my face most of the time. So we have some energies. This is just a general reading with the um, crystal medicine cards. This is about setting your intentions. Um, this could be um, choosing right and wrong, choosing the right side, choosing the wrong side. You know, we, we, there's different dualities. There's, my light keeps flickering. <laughs> there is, um, we have a choice to make. Do we polarize negative or do we polarize positive? So we're, we're setting our intention to the universe. We're setting our intention to what and how we want to be. And that's for you water signs. There are some challenges that I feel like you've been dealing with with this particular card. What I find interesting is obviously we're looking at the ocean right here on this card. So um, I feel like though this challenge has actually been, um, I, I feel like you've overcome the challenge because we're looking at the beach here and the beach is very rejuvenating. And I feel like this is saying you are actually being cleansed because the beach is salt water. And this is very therapeutic. So this was for your highest good, this particular challenge. It might have not felt good, but, you know, you overcame it. It was like, see, we have this storm right here, this, this lightning bolt. And then we have this ocean, this beautiful ocean. It's like, this is the, the blessing during the storm, okay? We have create creativity. So this could be a week where your creative juices start coming into flow. Like you might write a song, you might paint a picture, you might write a poem, you might start writing a book. So if you are um, a water sign or if you do have water in your chart somewhere, this might resonate with you. Um, you could start getting some creative ideas going. Let's see where the divine... Uh, destiny. I had to think of that for a second. Divine destiny. So we have enlightenment here. So <clears throat> you might be working on your spirituality at this time. Um, maybe because you're working on your spirituality. Um, enlightenment, guys, 
the the real definition of enlightenment it's actually quite hard to reach enlightenment but if we're talking in a literal sense here of like what we understand most of us understand as enlightenment this could be some sort of activation um that is occurring which might be making your creative you know stuff start the creative juices start to flow more where you are becoming more creative maybe you're a musician or an artist of some kind but something is activating in you to only better that particular um you know uh gift so this is taking risks it um for you it might be um maybe you're having a hard time taking the leap of faith in um, an opportunity you were handed or maybe there's a project you want to start but you're kind of afraid to start doing it so you know you're you're just having a hard time taking that leap of faith right so it's like the fear of the unknown this is saying take take the risk take you know take the leap of faith Let's get one more from this the water signs need to know Thriving. All right. So I feel like I feel like this is a, a kind of a futuristic card here, the thriving card. I feel like you're going to actually get an opportunity where it's going to help you to thrive in life. It's going to re. I feel like it's creative. Whoever this resonates with, I feel like certain parts of you you have some sort of creative gift. You're going to thrive in life. And I feel like you, right now it's just like your 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 soul is activating itself to become the best it can be with whatever gift or modality this is, and you're, it's going to make you thrive. Right. I'm going to use my homemade deck here. Um, you can simply, guys, get these cards for nine dollars on Amazon. Um, they're just blank tarot cards. And I just write little words on them that I feel like it's necessary in my readings. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these because the amount of cards was just not enough to really put <coughs> what I needed. But this is what I have to start off with, and they've been quite helpful. There's positives and negative things in this, this deck, which is nice because most Oracle cards are all about the positive. Well, we really need to face our shadow self too and to be realistic. All right, what does water sign need to know? Uh, Mother, Father, Creator. Okay. So it looks like you came here on Earth at this time because you're on a mission. So that could be, you know, what why you're activating right now because there's a mission to fulfill maybe that's why you are getting extra creative and if you're not a creative person that might not resonate with you maybe there's something else that's being activated in you um, for your particular earth mission here on earth in this here now moment you are getting messages in your dreams and visions i've been getting this card with every single one of my readings today that i've done so um, this is like one of the things that is occurring is there's going to be a lot of dreams um, and visions you might be getting. Um, so keep a journal if you are remembering your dreams and visions. If you're not remembering your dreams, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. So I actually have not remembered a dream in about a week, a week or two, okay? However, my son had a very prophetic dream. Ask your kids, what do they dream about? Ask them. Because your kids, especially if they're small, or if they have like Asperger's or something like my son was diagnosed Asperger's, but I don't re really believe that's a thing anymore. I actually think it's just a starseed trait, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on that one of these days, and I'm going to explain why I feel like that. Um, these gifted children, guys, they're super prophetic. They're super psychic. Um, so, you know, just ask them. You know, did you are you having any dreams lately? What do you dream about? Like, you know, meet them at their level, whatever age they are. Uh, my son knows to come to me when he has a dream and tell me the entire thing. And he's very good at remembering 
even the min the little minute details. Um, and he had a very prophetic dream. Like, it's actually exciting. And I can't yet share it. I need to have the green light from source creator. And I don't have that yet. But keep an eye on messages, okay? And like I said, if you're not getting messages in your dreams and visions that you remember, <coughs> it does not mean that you're any less of a person in a soul mission than the other person. Um, you might be battling in your sleep and you're not really understand, like you're not remembering. And it might be, excuse me, sorry guys, it might be too traumatic for you to remember. Um, maybe you're getting healing in your sleep. Um, maybe you're astral traveling, but you don't really remember. So there's different reasons why it does not mean you're anything less. Um, so water signs, it looks like my ego card did come out. If, um, you are dealing with ego problems, um, and that doesn't mean someone's necessarily full of themselves. Um, it just means that they really need to get grounded and they need to let go of, um, the need to control, um, the need to, um, yeah, there's someone here that has a hard time letting go controlling things and that's no good. Um, we can't control every little last thing. So sometimes you have to just give it to God, right? You have to just, um, let go and let God was that that saying, um, you might also have some fears. If you have fear, you need to let go of that. The ego cre creates fear, okay? The ego is good in a sense where it's like fight or flight stuff. That's the good part of the ego. Like that's the um, productive part of the ego. But when we allow our ego to get in the way of really how we're living our life, life that means there's work to be done. All right, what else do we need to know about my water sign? viewers I got this in my last reading so blood not uh blood but not family okay so a lot of us are in this situation our families have alienated us shunned us judged us called us crazy you know the whole the whole uh shebang and this card is pretty much telling you that you do have soul family out there, <clears throat> whether you have come in contact with anybody like that yet or not. Um, this is saying that you might have some issues with your family. Um, you might have some confidence problems. You might have, I, I'm getting that you are the black sheep. I'm getting that you never could amount to anything in your family's eyes. You were um, called crazy. You, um, you're not, you're not the one getting invited to Christmas dinner. You are not getting the phone call on your birthday. Um, I mean, the list can go on here, okay? It's the family has put you at the bottom of the totem pole, okay? Because they're blood though, if you're finding yourself in a toxic situation, that this is it, really bringing you down. It's keeping you held into third 3D thinking and 3D worry and 3D, um, you know, not having um, confidence in yourself because you are not putting up boundaries with your blood family, it might be time to put up those boundaries, very, very strict boundaries. You might even need to cut them off if it's that bad. I had to cut mine off, um, except one person in my family. So, well, technically two. I don't really talk to a lot of my family anyways, but another story for another day. So I feel like somebody here is really dealing with um, feeling just out of place, just not feeling worthy because their family is just, you know, has put them in that. There's just this like, there's judgment. There's judgment. Like you're not amount, you're not um, amounting to what your family wants you to be. But the thing is, you came here on a mission. You're not going to understand that. And that's okay. That's not for them to understand. It's not their mission. It's yours. Okay. What's important is, you know, your mission, you love yourself. You don't need blood family to, um, to, to, to feel love. Okay. 
and you're not alone. You might be alone, maybe you're in your house physically, but you have a whole team of people that are around you loving you, okay? That's your ancestors, that's your spirit guides, your angels, whatever is on your team supporting you, okay? They are cheering you on. They're like on the sidelines of the football field, your, cheer, your own personal cheerleading squad up in the ethers, okay? So just keep that in mind. And I really hope that this, this message from this particular card, which is very powerful, um, can help some of you out there because this is a very, very common thing amongst people who um, are open to the truth of what's happening in our current world, okay? You're being divinely guided, okay? So just know, you know, universe has your back. You are being divinely guided. You're getting messages. You are in some sort of separation. This might have to do with your family. <coughs> this might be a separation with a twin, twin flame. This might be in separation with um, soulmates, okay? This could uh, resonate on any level. It could, um, you know, so take it with a grain of salt and just use your discernment on how that resonates with you. Maybe it doesn't resonate at all, but someone here is in separation of some kind. And we'll actually look into the separation thing with the tarot, just to kind of get maybe a love reading into this afterward. It looks like you're gonna be doing some traveling in the near uh, future. Um, maybe you're gonna be even relocating possibly. And I also feel like maybe you're focusing on the more minute things when you really need to look at the big picture, not the, not the small itty bitty things that really are not mattering the most. You really need to look at the bigger picture. You need to zoom outward and see what the final destination is rather than all the little minute details because sometimes we don't need to know all the details. You're ending a karmic cycle. Guys, I have done four readings today that I have recorded. This is the fifth one. I've gotten this read, I've gotten this card with every single reading. Okay. This is that's fascinating because this is really coming to a head. This is the energy ending of a karmic cycle. That's probably why I felt the need to really put a, a big message out there about karmic cycles coming to a close. Like it's your job as a chosen one to end the karmic cycle with the family, with the lineage, with earth, you know. Let's get a couple more here. Someone needs to take a salt bath. I know this kind of, this sounds like a really weird card. I wrote, I wrote this card out for a purpose because sometimes we need to spiritually cleanse ourselves and taking a nice hot salt bath is going to help your aura, like it's going to cleanse your aura. It's going to cleanse your, your spirit. So that could be Himalayan salt. That could be Epsom salt. That could be a little mixture of both. Um, I told my other readings, I've been getting this a lot, actually. You can put some fresh herbs in the tub, um, dried herbs in the tub. You can look up what kind of um, properties they have and how, what their healing is, what the healing effects are, and even their spiritual effects as well. Because Herbs do have a spiritual effect as well. All right, what else does the water signs need to know? Yeah, it looks like um, some kind of grounding needs to occur. So maybe you need to um, incorporate a workout program into your schedule. Maybe you need to go back in, maybe you haven't been out in nature for a while. Maybe you need to go out in nature, take a hike, go camping. Um, I just feel like there's something to do with nature. Um, you're a water sign, so maybe it might be beneficial to go to the beach if you're on a shoreline, um, or you need to go to a lake, a pond, someplace with water. I feel like that's really going to be healing, okay? Someone here might be dealing with a lot of anger problems right now. Maybe you just keep saying, why me? Why me? You're angry. If you're having a lot of um, res uh, some of these emotions coming up about your family. This is definitely gonna present itself. Um, Bryce told me that anger is held in the thighs. So maybe releasing something by doing some sort of um, leg workout might help alleviate that. Um, she, Cause she said that that particular is, I'm gonna have to do some research on it, but 
I know she's actually taken studies on this. So <laughs> she's like really intelligent when it comes to this stuff. So it's held in the thighs. So maybe um, <clears throat> definitely doing some core working out or in, along with um, some leg workouts, it's gonna help alleviate that. Learning how to balance yourself, coming up with some coping skills. Um, again, going out in nature, that's really going to um, also bring balance to you. So you might feel angry, but if you go out in nature, it's gonna start to balance that out. Um, it's cause it's super, super healing. And again, I'm getting that you might need to go near a body of water because you are a water sign. Okay, a couple more cards here. Music. All right, so I got, also got this for a few of my readings today too. <coughs> so there's a couple ways you can take this. You can take this as in maybe you're a musician or maybe you're a singer and you need to start um, you know, looking into maybe honing in on this particular um, skill and gift. Um, maybe you're going to get activated. Maybe you have been um, very gifted in this um, particular type of skill set, but you're really going to become activated in that that skill set is then going to start getting um, progressively stronger. So you could take it that way. Also too, you could take it as you need healing music. You need music in your life, um, but you need healing music. Um, I'm getting that some of you, you might be listening to music that is a very, very chaotic frequency like screamo, some, um, rap music, stuff like that. And yeah, I like a lot of that stuff too, guys, but it's actually not good for our soul. It's not the God frequency. So you might need to adjust what um, hurts you, your music is on. So if you look up healing music, maybe going to bed, at least listening to some of this healing music. All right. shadow work. Okay. Maybe some of you guys are already doing some shadow work. Maybe you need to do some shadow work. But overall, this is this has been quite the topic lately in a lot of my videos because it's super important as we go forward. You are breaking a karmic cycle. So that shows me you're probably doing a ton of shadow work already because that's part of breaking a karmic cycle. All right. Let's look into the separation, guys. So this will be the love part of the reading here. I'm going to get out my Gilded Tarot. All righty. What do the water signs need to know in this here now moment for this separation part here? Can we clarify the separation part? Okay, so we did get some cards here. Yeah, so that separation card, that's temporary. There's a unity that's going to occur. This is a unity right here. That This is exactly what that is. And it's a soul contracted unity. So nothing can really stop that union from happening. Yeah, you've had to surrender yourself. This is This is a lot of the shadow work you've done. Because you're doing that shadow work, it has set you up to become more ready for this, okay? In order to have a balanced, loving, very um, stable and healthy relationship, you must have a good relationship with yourself first. That is so key. There's so many people, and, and guys, I'm guilty of this too. So, you know, this is why I'm doing a lot of shadow work myself because I'm preparing myself. I've dealt with confidence problems my entire life. Okay, so I, I'm going through this with you, 100%. You have to have a good relationship with yourself first if you want a healthy relationship. Because if you don't have a healthy relationship with yourself, you're going to attract those who also don't have a healthy relationship with themselves. And guess what happens? You get a karmic relationship. So this must be done before that. That's, you know, that's super important to understand. Oftentimes we jump from one person to the next person. We even do that with friends sometimes, guys. Time to start getting rid of that programming of not liking yourself and develop a beautiful relationship with yourself. Yeah, this could mean you, you need to break some habits. You need to put some old stuff down and 
We need to maybe pick up some new habits, like new healthier habits, um, a newer, a different routine. Um, maybe you need to adjust your schedule a little bit. Um, but I'm getting that maybe it has something to do with maybe you're not taking good care of yourself and you need to start to. What else for this separation card? Oh, we get travel again. You are coming out of troubled waters with this card, but I get that also there's going to be some travel that comes along. I see that Ace of Cups peeping its head. So Ace of Cups, again, we know what this means in Bryce language. Um, <laughs> I'm never going to let her live that one down, guys. Um, <coughs> So yeah, you're traveling. I, I feel like you might actually be traveling to this union. You might not even know it. So if you're going to be traveling, you might actually meet this person while you're traveling, potentially. Um, and I think it's going to be like this instantaneous spark of passion and love. And um, so that's exciting. And it's like, I feel like nine of swords, it's like, I feel like you're overstressing about things. You're, there's a lot of stress. You're overstressing. You're overthinking things. You need to stop overthinking. You need to start to cope with that anxiety. You need to start figuring out how to transmute that anxiety because this, this card is a card of anxiety. Okay, guys, I have the union, the twin flame union card right on the bottom right here. Yeah, there's definitely some communication coming in. Yeah, we have Queen of Wands. So you might be coming into a union with someone who's very intuitive. <coughs> if you're if you're coming into a union with a twin, um, they're going to be a mirror of you, actually. But if this is like a, I feel like this is talking about possibly like a, just like a, a soulmate. So it's like somebody who's intuitive, who's really, really highly intelligent with that King of Swords. So we have intuition. This is someone with um, integrity. Um, this is um, somebody who's really good with their words. Um, they're very intelligent. Um, yeah. So you might have a spiritual purpose with this person, maybe spiritual leadership. Um, maybe this person is highly spiritual, um, but yeah. Yeah, an offering, pay, uh, Ace of Pentacles, an offering is coming your way. Let's just get a couple more cards for the Water Sign Collective. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating soon. There's going to be a celebration soon in, in, in your upcoming future here with that particular card. And there's some stuff that's actually being worked behind the scenes. I'm actually getting here um, that not, I, I feel like your intuition is actually getting activated at, you know, in this moment because High Priestess is a very intuitive person. Um, but in addition, I'm actually getting that these unions have actually occurred in like the ethers and in the in the quantum because it has to actually develop in the quantum prior to the to the manifestation of it in the physical realm. So I feel like the union has already occurred um, in the spiritual realm. Now it just is about to manifest in the physical. And we do have a lot of twin flame energy, soulmate energy, Venus, 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 a lot of Venus guys in this energy coming up in June. So keep that in mind. Um, this, this is an exciting time. This is very exciting. We want these unions to occur because this is gonna be very healing for the earth because these karmic relationships, they just can't hold anything that no longer serves the earth. High, the earth's highest good has to, has to crumble. And that includes relationships that are very, very karmic and toxic. Okay, so if you're in a toxic relationship and it's getting even more tumultuous, um, let it crumble. Guys, let it crumble. Because if you don't, universe is going to take the step in doing so. So with that said, guys, 
you know, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope you enjoyed this viewpoint with this camera. And I will see you guys on the next video, sending you all love and light and have a great day.